Tori Linez, you are not the dark skin activist. There's only one dark skin activist. And furthermore, you're 20 plus years late. Hold up. We are gonna get this thing started. Hold up. Let's go. Let's talk about this. Rashida Strober is the only person in the world to focus exclusively on dark skin and has been doing so since 1998 as demonstrated by a 20 year body of work. Meet the real founder and inventor of the first movement in history for dark skin, Rashida Strober, the world's first dark skin activist, founder of dark skin activism created in 1998. So I am here with Rashida Strober finally getting to meet her face to face. We have she's been on my show twice. Yep. Me and Unique. Yep. Unique should be logging on soon. And you know, there were a few people that didn't get a chance to hear the interview, which they can log on and see. Who is that? See, I can't even see. Because I'm so what Heather, Heather Shack. Okay, so let me just say something about Heather really quickly. Mm -hmm. Heather enjoyed you so much the first time that you were on the show she was actually one of the ones that was like no she has to come back but thank you heather and so i don't know heather if you have a question but we don't have a lot a lot of time um but if you don't have a question that you want to post i just want to start off with a question that i've asked rashida a million times before which is what inspired her to do um a dark skin woman's revenge so in case y'all didn't hear the answer on my show she can answer that. Yeah, um, just my life experiences of wanting to tell my truth. That's really tell, wanting to tell my truth. In 1998, Rashida Strober created dark skin activism, the first movement in history to advocate for dark skinned people, and called herself the dark skin activist. Rashida created the phrases dark skin activists and dark skin activism. Rashida also coined the word darkism. She's the first person in recorded history to create a movement of this kind. She's the first artist, author, actress, YouTuber, and social commentator to focus her work only on dark skin and has been doing so since 1998. So you're late. You're 20-something years late. All my haters, all my plagiarizers, you're late. She's written. I've written because I'm doing this voiceover. More books on dark skin than anybody in the world. My books can be found at darkskinactivist.com. Also, I've been touring the country since 2006, giving darkism lectures and performances of my play. For bookings, go to darkskinactivist.com. Now, the books include A Dark Skin Girl's Triumph, The Rashida Strober Story, Darkism 25 Ways Dark Skin People Are Discriminated Against, How to Be the Hottest Dark Skin Chick on the Planet. By the way, this is the first motivational book ever written for dark skinned females what y'all do to thank me y'all went to my website y'all downloaded my book y'all plagiarized my work but let's keep going a dark skinned woman's revenge the book and the play version and token dark girl my latest release now you can't fuck with none of you can fuck with the 20 year legacy of the body of work that i created you can't fuck with the fact that I created the first movement to ever address this. So let me stop the screen share right now. Let me stop the screen share because actually what we're going to do, we're going to talk about, we're going we gonna to go to this Tori Linez situation and we're going to talk about that because I don't pull the information up here. You're late. First of all, let me say you're late. You're 20 years late. You're behind. Not only are you 20 years late, but this whole topic, I introduced to social media back in 2015 when I had that what? When I had that what? All you all I got, I love Google. I love Google to death because you know what? It tells the truth. It tells the truth. And anybody worth their salt? Well, most of the time it's telling the truth. It's damn sure telling the truth in this instance. Back in 2015, let me show you the, the post that introduced this whole topic of even speaking about colorism to the world. Here's the post right here that went viral to millions, went viral to millions that all the bloggers wrote about. You ain't doing nothing new. You're not the dark skin activist. I'm gonna let every last one of you motherfuckers know because I see what you're doing. But here's the historic post that made everybody 
mock me, then turn around and start talking about colorism and darkism. I'm going to continue to call you motherfuckers out. I ain't going nowhere because I own this shit. Let's read it. This is 2015. Well, 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 would you look at here? Another fake conscious mother exposed. I will never support him nor his music with one dime of my money. And I encourage all dark skinned women not to either. Now let's click this on. Let's click because I want people to clearly understand that what this dude is doing, you clout chasing. You're a clout chaser. It's not real. This was a real post that came from my heart and soul. Now that's April 5th, 2015. I didn't even know that Bossip was writing about me. Unlike this dude right here, I'm trying to scroll down. Here's hey, the article. Hold on a second. I hate it. I hate it when these. I hate it when these ads come up. I'm gonna have to click that off, y'all, because you got these ads coming up. But all y'all gotta do is Google the dark skin activists, and you will see the organic. Cause your shit ain't real and organic, and I see right through it. The organic post, the historic post that I put out. From doing my work, understand, I have been doing this shit before YouTube, before social media. I put this out, what I've been doing, and people took notice of it because they never seen the shit before. Now, subsequently, as a result, I got a lot of hate. All these articles are people talking about me. And some of you no good, low down folks out there, you talked about me. You made videos about me sideways, but you didn't mention my name. All this is about me. Media takeout, all oh, it's about me. Black female activist called, oh, that's about Rashida Strober. I'm the one that did that. After this, in the aftermath, that's when people with big platforms started stealing my shit because the shit went viral. I even made, and I'm just giving y'all the history. Let me Google it. Rashida Strober, donkey of the day. I even made, now, you know, here's something, uh, Mr. Um, Linez, I wasn't looking for publicity. This was coming from my heart and soul. I even made donkey of the day for calling out Kendrick Lamar's colorism and being a dark skin activist. Now, here we are, what, four years later? You're late, you're late. Hold on, hold on, that's the wrong one. I, was, I just got my um, two teeth work going, so apologize for that, y'all, but you're late. I'm not impressed by this shit. June 15, 2019 versus April 4, 2015. Your ass is late and this is nothing but orchestrated for clout. Period, point blank. Every, even D, I see DJ Academis name in here. Even DJ Academis talked about, hold on, let me Google it. Y'all, way back in 2015, DJ Academis was, was one of the people, hold on, DJ Academics. I hope I spell his name right. Academics. Let's see if something pops up. Let's see if that video is still up. There it is right there. Even so I see DJ Academics up in this, you know, in this article here. The point that I'm making is that there's even a person that dates all the way back to 2015, that blog about me, the person that brought the entire fucking lane of speaking on colorism and dark skin to the internet. It's right there, y'all. Dark skin activists attack Kendrick Lamar for marrying a light skinned woman. Everybody benefited and profited off of my fucking work. You see what that got? 123K views. You see that four years ago. This is four fucking years ago. You see who, who thumbnail is in there? So what you doing, I can't respect Tony, Tony, Tori. I'm fucking up your name. I got my teeth is all kind of messed up. So I just came from dentist. But oh, well, we're going to get this shit out. What you're doing, I'm going to stop the screen sharing. Hold on. I'm going to stop the screen sharing. I'm going to, y'all can go, y'all can go and see it. All the information is right there on the internet. What you're doing is nothing new. But the problem is people with bigger platforms, they will never admit this, but I know the truth. I know what the truth is. They have ripped off and stolen the work of the world's first dark skin activist. I just put the information out here to y'all. Anybody that has a brain can look at the dates and see that these people are following in the lane of what I created. 
They don't give a fuck about no colorism or no dark skin, dark skin. And because I'm an honest person, I could say that Cola Booth was doing it around the same time as me. Her and me started this shit. Fuck every last one of you talking about it because you're not sincere. What these people did after I made the entire topic of dark skin, colorism pop. These people who had, I want y'all to understand this, I'm going to say this over and over again, because we're going to hone in on this shit, and I'm not letting up. I ain't let the dark skin activists, I ain't letting up, because I'm going to tell the truth. What these people did, they had platforms already. Some of these people had bigger platforms. Some of these people was continuing to build their platforms. But when they saw what I was doing, they took my work, without giving me credit for it, back to their audiences. These are facts. Y'all can y'all can fact check. I'm always encouraging people to fact check. I just pulled up receipts, online receipts. So my question is to you, uh, Tori Linez, where were your what? You know what? It's so many people that when I'm on social media, they'll come to me and say, "You that woman that talks shit about Kendrick Lamar for marrying a light skinned woman." These people know about my work low key. But what black people will do, a lot of y'all will do, y'all file. Y'all will steal. And so, Tori Linares, it's not far fetched for me to say that you, you know about the Kendrick Lamar beef. You're familiar with that shit. And so people keep this shit in their head. And then they find opportune times when they're trying to get their name to pop. Or when they're trying to promote something to go and, and, and steal something that's already been done. I don't give a damn what nobody says. I know for a fact, and the people out there that's honest, I'm not talking about the liars and the plagiarizer. I ain't even addressing y'all because y'all don't mean shit to me. There's some honest people out there that know exactly what I'm talking about and that know that these people have ripped off and stolen from me. Tori Linez, where were you? Where, where was your defense of the dark skin activists? This is my fucking question. Since you now supposedly coming out with this, um, you're defending dark skin women in videos, which is old oh shit. I've been already talked about that. I've been put that out there years ago. It's nothing new. What you're saying is nothing new. What you're doing is stealing. You're capitalizing off of what somebody else's blood, sweat, and tears done already created. Where was you when I was getting attacked in 2015? This is 2019. You just now hopping on this fucking train. Where was you in 2015 when I was getting attacked for calling out colorism in all facets and being a dark skinned activist? I'm, 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 gonna, I'm just going to sit on that. In fact, while y'all ponder that, I'm just going to sit up here and flip through my newest book, Token Dark Girl, The Eight Dark Girl of the Moment. Y'all think about that. Where were you when I was starting dark skin activism in 98 before social media existed? Where are you, Tor Tori Linares? Where, 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 where the fuck were you? And this is a rhetorical question for all the plagiarists out here that's acting like they're so fucking concerned about this and they're not. They're doing it for clout and to get views. I am telling y'all, after I got all that attention for introducing something to the world that the world never fucking gave a damn about, and I'm talking about in the form of hearing dark skin activists, nobody ever heard of that shit before. People mock the fuck out of me but then they said, hmm, she's on to something. And instead of these people reaching out and giving credit, black people don't want to do that. They're, they stole every fucking last one of you. And I'm telling you right now, and I've said this before, your day coming, your fucking day is coming when I go to a court of law and I hold these people accountable because ain't nothing you doing is original. I do not respect it. How do I find out about this stuff? Let me tell y'all something. I do not seek this shit out. The dark skin activists don't have to. Y'all bring this shit to me. People be tagging me and shit. You know why they tag the dark skin activists and shit about colorism? Because they know I created and introduced this shit and built this shit and put it on the internet. That's why people tag me. I don't have to look for nothing. 
When I found out that these bitches online was copying me and plagiarizing me, guess who brought that to me? The people. I did not go look for it. Okay? I did not go look for it. The people bring this shit to me. Because everybody know in black YouTube and black social media, you can pretend the fuck that you don't, but you do. You know that Rashida Strober is the motherfucking queen bitch of dark skin activism. You know that Rashida introduced the entire topic of speaking on dark skin colorism online. Nobody else did that shit. Every fucking body else is doing nothing but copying me. But Tori Lanez, you're not the dark skin activist. I done had so many people copy, rip off, plagiarize people online, people on television, and you're just another in the long list of plagiarists and copycat motherfuckers. None of you motherfuckers are real because when you can do what I've done, which you can't because it can't be, you can't go back and do something first when it's already been done. You can't. That foundation already been laid. So you, you, you will never be on the level of the dark skin activists. And here's the main, here's really the main reason why, because the shit isn't organic. It's conjured up. Every fucking thing the dark skin activists do is organic. Dark skin activism, creating this lane came from an organic place. It did not come from watching people on YouTube. It did not come from stealing from another black woman or black man's work. My shit is organic. It came from my life experience questioning why was I being treated differently for being dark skinned and then me becoming the activist or the person that spoke about it because none of you black motherfuckers ever fucking spoke about shit. You damn right, I'm going to talk shit about y'all. And if the shoe fits, wear it. If it don't apply, you better let that shit fly. Y'all stole. That's why I don't respect none of you. And until you pay me my motherfucking money and I get my acknowledgement, I don't give a fuck about none of you because you're all stealing. You are all stealing. Nobody has the story that I have. Nobody has the authenticity of it as far as creating this shit offline. Everybody that's talking about this shit came after me. Don't y'all see how suspect that is? If y'all can't see through that, I feel sorry for y'all. Weak. I feel sorry for you all being bamboozled by these people online. They are liars. They are manipulators. They are deceptive. They will steal and take for views and for clout. And that is exactly what the fuck has happened to dark, the dark skin activists. My question is, where were these people pre-YouTube? Where were these people talking about dark skin, calling out colorism pre-YouTube? You didn't exist. You motherfuckers didn't exist. That's a fact. I'm only here to spit facts. I'm only here to spit pure fucking facts. If you want to support the work, which I highly encourage you do, of the real dark skin activists, because these bitches can't touch me, you will never be able to fuck with me. I don't give a fuck who you are. Dark skin female celebrity Dark skin, man, I don't respect your shit until you lay it down and respect my shit and admit that you motherfuckers are stealing from me and pay me my money. I don't give a fuck about you. I don't care who you are. I'll come for anybody that is infringing on what I created. Any fucking body, anybody who is infringing on what I created. You want to support the work of the world's first and only dark skin activist here is what you do. I just only one. I have written more books. I don't care who's cop. Now you got people copying me writing books. Celebrities. You're copying. You're not the dark skin. I don't care how famous you are. I don't care. You're not the fucking dark skin activist. In fact, a lot of these dark skin females, you're benefactors of what the fuck I created. And you don't deserve the credit for my work. And I will let you know this shit to your face. A dark skin woman's revenge. The book in the play version. But this is the book version. $25, token dark girl, the it dark girl of the moment, $30, and darkism, 25 ways dark skinned people are discriminated against, $25. Now, how can you get the books? There are several ways you can get the books. You can go to my PayPal. I just put the information in the chat box. It's also in the description box to this live. You can go to my PayPal, which is icecreamladydream at yahoo.com and purchase the books that way. I think you should purchase all three, get all three books. Um, you can go to my GoFundMe and donate in any amount, okay? In fact, 
all you motherfuckers that's stealing from me, you should be at my GoFundMe donating. Y'all, all y'all owe me. Every fucking last one of y'all owe me. For the publicity that I don't got you, for the subscribers that I don't got you, every fucking last one of you. But black people, y'all motherfucking foul. That's one thing I've learned in this walk with dark skin activism. And I'm gonna write about this shit. Y'all are some foul ass motherfuckers. Y'all will take and steal from your own with no motherfucking problem. Cause that's exactly what has happened to me. People that didn't give three fucks about no colorism, about no dark skin, you ain't gave a fuck. Cause if you did, what a track record. I'm the only one with a trackable, provable track record that spans from 98. Nobody else could say that, nobody else. I don't give a fuck who's talking about it. No celebrity, no YouTuber, none of you can say that. You're not the dark skin activist. You didn't create this lane, period. Steal from me all you want. What you are, you're marketers of other products. But you saw that my dark skin product was good and you went back and you took it to your already built audience. That's what has happened. That's the story. That's the real story of what has happened. And I'm letting everybody fucking know. I'm going to continue to let everybody fucking know. So, Again, if you want to support the real, true, factual, dark skin activist, the one that was here before anybody talked about it, the one that everybody that said was crazy for calling herself the dark skin activist and calling out covers and not all oh, every motherfucker copying, every motherfucking and mama copying. If you want to support the real, because it's only one, there's, there's not two, there's not three, it's only one motherfucking dark skin activist. That's it. That's it. That's it. Only one. Again, you can go to my website. You can purchase the books at my, that's right. I forgot to tell you that. You can always go to darkskinactivist.com and purchase the books there. Um, again, you can go to PayPal and purchase the books at PayPal um, through my um, email, which is icecreamladydream at yahoo.com. You can also go to my GoFundMe. Now, also, I am always seeking donations, especially on my GoFundMe and my PayPal. For two main reasons now. Number one, I have been running the Dark Skin Activist Tour for years. And I'm the original before any of these motherfuckers ever talked about it. They could talk about it online. I've done this shit offline. Um, I'm the first artist, actress, social commentator, author to focus on dark skin. The only one in the world to do this. That's why I'm telling you everybody is ripping me off. Every fucking body and their mama is ripping me off. They're all going to lie. They're all going to lie and, and, and pretend but I know what the truth is. So I am still in fundraising mode to continue to produce my shows on the Dark Skin Activist Tour. So make sure you go to my GoFundMe or you can go to my PayPal and donate, donate, donate. I have a wonderful play that I have been producing again, receipts, since 2006 before I am one of you bitches even thought about coming online, talk about dark skin. You're not the originator of this shit. I own this fucking lane. And my commentary actually comes from my books and my plays. That's why this is plagiarism. That's what I'm that's what I'm, I'm trying to explain to you. That's why this is plagiarism. For the people that want to come up on my page and dissect and act like you're an attorney, you could take that shit somewhere else. Because I already know the deal. I already know the deal. You could take that shit somewhere else. My shit is documented and copywritten with the United States Copyright Office. Period. So you're not going to sit here and tell me I have been, it's been documented online. All you got to do is Google me, Google me. I have been doing dark skin activism through my plays, books, commentary, darkies and talks since 98. Everybody is stealing. What my fatal mistake, which I always say was bringing it online and trusting black people. That was the fatal mistake. They never supported what I was doing. Black folks ain't supported shit. All y'all done is stole from me. All y'all was doing is looking for, I've given to dark skin. This is why I can't stand a lot of these dark skin women now. Because they're doing nothing but fucking stealing. Never supported what I was doing. Never cared. Never defended me. But you want to come along and steal what I create. But bitch, you're not the fucking dark skin activist. I'm letting all you motherfuckers know it. You're not. There's only one, factually, based on receipts. Everybody else is doing nothing but stealing. Period. Period. So if you support people thieving just because they have bigger audience, then you need to fucking leave. You can unsubscribe from my channel because you are manipulative and you're a liar and you're dishonest just like them. And I don't want people on my channel like that. You can go. But if you 
believe in justice and you want to see me bring sue some of these people and bring them to justice go to my gofundme because that's the second part of why i'm raising money for my legal fund my ultimate goal is to bring the plagiarizers to federal court and put them up on charges because what's going to happen once this lawsuit is filed there's going to be fact finding it's going to be depositions all that this shit going to be public record okay and everything that i have been saying from day one is people going to be like yep she was telling the truth from day one just like when i created dark skin activism and people denied that uh darkism existed then they turn around and stole from me every motherfucker in the book said i was crazy including the fucking breakfast club but now i got a gang of people a motherfucker that's 20 years late four years late just coming trying to come up in to my territory you you you, you so flaw this dude is so you so fucking whack i would tell you this shit to your face you fucking whack as hell you fucking whack as hell every last one of you and y'all gotta understand this is two things it's plagiarism and it's not coming from an organic place y'all must understand me clearly i will respect anybody that i could look at and say they've been doing this shit before youtube but none of these people have that documented the only the only person is cola booth and myself that's it you can't sit here and say i hear people to go oh people have been talking about colorism before you were born that's that's not what i'm talking about and y'all know that y'all not motherfucking stupid I made myself very clear. I am the first person. I ain't talking about talking about colorism. I created the fucking movement. I did that. Nobody else did that shit. I'm the first human being to create a movement for dark skin equality. Nobody can say that. All you motherfuckers can do is steal like you've been doing since 2015. That's it. These are nothing but facts that I'm spitting right now. Nothing but pure facts. This is why I cannot respect these people. Because again, if you really cared about dark skin, you would have a history of doing it off YouTube, of doing it before social media. I'm the only person, actually, again, to be clear, Cola Booth and myself, we're the only people that hold the distinction. And Cola Booth did not, I can't even say that Cola Booth actually was an activist for it. I created dark skin activism. I just give Cola Booth respect because in the 90s, before that was social media, she was talking about dark skin. That is the reason why I'm the person that actually stepped up. And Cola Booth will tell you this. This was years ago. I made a video and she got the video before these fucking bitch ass hoes that's copying and following my lead. They won't say it, but they're all following what I did when I said Cola Booth is the mother of the dark skin. Movement. I've been saying this for years. You bitches is just now jumping on my bandwagon. Every last one of you. And this is why I don't respect you. All your shit is whack and fake and it's not real and the shit going to crumble and Rashida Strober, the world's first and only dark skin activist, is going to win the war. Also, I want you guys to look out for my upcoming book called Inventing Dark Skin Activism, The Rashida Strober Story. Because I'm at a critical stage right now where people are stealing my work and thank God I have a bachelor's in history and a master's in political science. And the reason I say that, I ain't got nobody to motherfucking impress. I ain't trying to impress none of y'all. I say that because that's how my mind is wired. My mind is wired for facts and truth. That's why I majored in history because I love the truth. I could look at something and dissect it and find the bullshit in it. I could look at these bullshit. That's why I could look at this dude um tori lanez and say you're whack and you're full of shit and this ain't real that's the history part of me that's coming out the fact finder the truth teller that's coming out you're not the real deal you're fake you're a copycat you're a clone of rashida strober the dark skin activist just like all the rest of you motherfuckers is and history is going to show it so that's why i've dedicated a entire chapter to speaking about after 2015, when I introduced the entire topic of colorism and dark skin to the internet, when it actually I introduced it in 2009, preceding anybody else had the first dark skin channel. But in 2015, as I developed it, it became wildly popular and it went viral to millions. Okay, understand what I'm saying. 
After that time, everybody and their motherfucking mama on black YouTube and black social media and now on black TV copied me. Everybody, that's the story of the dark skin activist. The story of the dark skin activist. How I was mocked and called crazy and then copied. They mocked me, then they copied me. They mocked me, then they copied me. Black people mock me, then they copied me. Black people mock me, then they copied me. Black women on YouTube mock me, then they copied me. Black men mock me, then they copied me. I just showed y'all that video of DJ Academus from 2015, four years ago. That man has a lot of influence. I don't know these people. My shit was organic, real, from here. But I'm gonna win the motherfucking war. You're not, y'all, all you plagiars, you're not gonna win. I'm going to fight. And someone came on my channel and they said, I'm glad you're still here. Well, let me assure you, the dark skin activist ain't going no motherfucking where. I'm not going, no, I'm going to be the dark skin activist until they put me in the motherfucking grave, bitch. And when I fucking leave, I'm going to leave the truth of how black people stole and ripped off my motherfucking work after calling me crazy. I'm never going to let this shit go until you pay me my money and give me what I deserve. Every last one of you owe me. So once again, let me go to some of these comments here. Let me go to some of these comments here. Miss Monet, shout out to you. Shout out to everybody that's watching. I want to appreciate everybody that's on here watching. You said, Rashida, I do believe you coined darkism. However, you know what? Here we go with the bullshit. Let me just, let me read this comment. Because this is the bullshit. I'm going to call you on your bullshit right now, Miss Monet. Rashida, I do believe you coined darkism. However, your experiences are not unique. And that's why you can have, hold on. A plethora of dark skin. That's bullshit. Because none of these fucking dark skinned people was talking about it in 98. Why the fuck weren't they talking about it and created a movement like I did? Miss Monet, what you're saying is absolute hog shit. And it is a denial of the fact that black people are fucking ripping me off. You sit here and you say that they have experiences your experiences are not unique, and that's why you can have a plethora of dark skinned people say the same things you said. That's not the fucking issue. The issue is why didn't these dark skinned people create the fucking first movement for dark skin? If they gave a fuck so much, why didn't they create the movement? That's the fucking issue. Don't come telling me that. That's fucking hogwash. Bullshit. Straight bullshit. Now I gotta call you on that. Because people say that to me. And I, I say, fuck bullshit. Where the fuck was these dark-skinned people in 98 creating dark-skinned activism if they gave a fuck so much? Why can't you be honest and tell the truth? They're copying me. They saw what I did and copied and never fucking paid monetary and homage. This is the issue. So don't, don't do that. We're not going to fucking do that. I ain't going to let y'all do that shit. I'm going to call you when you come up on my chat saying shit like that. Because you dead ass wrong. You're dead ass wrong. Period. Kefra, SH, you say my guess is that this is her passion. An area. It's, it's what the fuck I created. These niggas ain't create shit. That's the point I'm making. Nobody even gave a fuck about dark skin or colorism. Where were these people in 98? Where were these people before social media? Nobody can answer that. I'm looking at the chat. When I pose that question, you motherfuckers tiptoe and tap dance around that. You can't answer it. Because there's no truth and there's no authenticity. That's why you can't answer it. These motherfuckers have stolen from me and they're frauds. That's why nobody can ever answer. When I come to you with these direct and poignant questions, that you gotta dig deep and bring me some facts and details, you can't answer it. Silence.
Nobody can answer that question. Because we know the truth. And the truth is that black people, and it's mainly black people who are doing this, have stolen from me. They didn't speak on this shit prior to 2015 because they didn't give a fuck until I put it on the map, took the fucking death threats and hits for it, and then you motherfuckers stole. So when I asked the question of where were these people offline advocating for dark skin and against colorism, you cannot answer the fucking question. You go dead silent because you know I'm right. And it ain't because I'm right because I'm Rashida Strober. It's I'm right based on what is motherfucking factual. So fuck Tori Linez. Fuck anybody else talking about it. If you ain't saying Rashida Strober and paying homage, fuck you. I don't give a fuck about you. Because let me tell you something. Let me tell y'all something. This is what y'all don't understand. This is, this is the raw truth. Black people ain't never gave a fuck about me. They steal from me. But in regards to actually giving a fuck that I created something to help them out, y'all ain't gave a fuck. I, I know that already. Newsflash. Black people don't care about black people. This shit on YouTube that y'all watch about all these different issues, this shit is for views and entertainment. I see these people exploit. Let me let me give y'all a let me give y'all an example. Let me give y'all an example. Case in point. I see so many people making YouTube videos on this little beautiful little girl, Malia Davis. You motherfuckers are exploiting an innocent little girl who died at the hands of a monster for views. They don't care. They don't give a fuck. Black people do not care. They're using social media to bolster whatever it is they're doing and using this little girl's name to get views. Plain and simple. Because black people don't care. And that was my fucking fatal mistake is caring about you. Because again, all y'all done is take from me. That's it. There's only a few people that I even reach out and donate to all the commentary I done gave, all my time and energy I done gave, talking to people on the phone, emails, all that. Y'all don't see nothing wrong in exploiting the fuck out of me. This is what black people have done. Black people do not give a fuck about each other. And that's the most painful lesson that I've learned. That's why a lot of y'all, I ain't fucking with you like that. I, I'm not, I'm not, fuck, I'm not gonna let you come in anymore and drain me, drain the fuck out of my resources, my intellectual resources no more. Because I realized that you motherfuckers don't care. Another case in point, let me give y'all another example. This is the raw truth. This is the raw truth. They pretend that they care, now they pretend that they fake care for views. And I really care about Malia Davis. May she rest in peace. And I put my money where my mouth is because I've been an activist in the community for real a real activist, the real thing, not the fake shit on YouTube. That's why I can't stand you motherfuckers. Cause it's only a small percentage that's actually real. Nina Simone, I put a spell on you. Read the book way back in 2000, several times. Talk about Nina Simone. Nina Simone down there gave up her career for black people. Gave up her career. And yeah, she had a light-skinned husband. Shout out to her light-skinned husband because he was able to get her bookings. He was able to get her paid. He was able to get her that, get that money for her talent. I kind of see myself in some, some, I could look at myself in terms of being an artist and looking at the talent that we have and how bitches will rob you. And all you need is that one catalyst that comes along that can see and, and propel you forward. That's what happened with the great Nina Simone when she married her husband he was the one that was getting her paid you motherfuckers weren't getting her paid black people weren't getting her shit but you know what nina simone did this is why i love nina simone i fucking love nina simone i love that woman from here for real this ain't for for youtube views fuck youtube views i've been love nina simone let me tell you why i love nina simone because this is what she did for you motherfuckers she came back to the black community and fought like a soldier in the civil rights movement but you know what you, you know what happened you know what happened? When she was broke down, going through her mental illness, going through all the shit she went through, all the tragedy she went through, where was these people in the civil rights movement to help her? Where, where were they at? They would know where the motherfucker be found. Y'all ain't had no problem benefiting off the great Nina Simone talent. 
with her coming in singing and supporting the civil rights movement. But when she was over, let me tell you, y'all can do the research. Who brought her back from the brink over in Europe? Who got her paid bookings? Paid bookings. It's about that motherfucking money. Y'all love to take and get free shit. Y'all don't think that black women are valuable. It wasn't black people that was making her rich and giving up the money. It wasn't y'all doing that. She had a white manager that got her help, mental help. For I believe she had bipolar and got her paid. Got her paid for her motherfucking superior talent. It wasn't black people. First, it was her light-skinned husband. And you know, I know that they, they didn't always have the best relationship. But shout out to her light-skinned husband. That's right. I motherfucking said it. Shout out to her motherfucking light-skinned husband for seeing the talent in a beautiful dark-skinned woman and bringing that to the world, to the masses. And the shit that pains me the most and makes me angry as fuck with black people about Nina Simone is how y'all didn't step up to the plate when she needed y'all. Same shit. Same shit with me. You motherfuckers don't care about me. You think I don't know that shit? Black people don't give a fuck about what they can, you can get something for free. You get something for free. Y'all ain't paying, y'all love the housewives of Atlanta, but y'all ain't paying their motherfucking salary. Them white people paying their shit. That shit that they doing on the housewives, that ain't nothing new. It's a million black women that talk shit and is entertaining as NeNe Leaks. Okay? But Nene Leakes was smart enough to go to the white folks and get fucking paid. Because black people don't give a fuck about other black people. Period. That's why we'll never get anywhere. That's why. This is the bitter truth that you motherfuckers don't want to hear. But I'm here to spit that dark skin activist truth. You're not the motherfucking dark skin activist. Fuck every last one of you still in my work. I'm going to write about it and I'm going to expose this shit and I'm going to keep talking about it. Because none of you could never be me. You wish you could be me. You wish you had my intellect my creativity and my boldness. But bitch, all you got is marketing. That's all the fuck you motherfuckers got. You ain't shit. Pisses, pisses me the fuck off completely. Pisses me the fuck off, period. And everybody on here know that everything I'm saying is the truth. Is the motherfucking truth. Everybody on here, you know it. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. Shout out to you, uh, Ramon Bonton. You trust me. We 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 on that. I'm just. I ain't gonna say much about that shit. Cause bitches do nothing but steal from me. But you'll have never have my writing and talent ability. Bitch, you're not the dark skin activist. You're not the motherfucking dark skin activist. Period. And for you people that's coming up on here trying to discredit me, you better fucking leave. Because I'm getting ready. I'm looking at some of these comments and I ain't tolerating the shit no more. You ain't getting the nice Rashida no more that's going to sit up here and tolerate you coming up on here talking shit to me about what the fuck I created and bitches are stealing. You're not going to do that shit. So check yourself. Check yourself. Check your fucking self. Because I'm not letting it go. Because I'm right. I'm absolutely right. I'm absolutely correct. And I don't respect nobody. Talk. If, if my name is not being said and mentioned, I don't give a fuck. So I, I know some of y'all tag me because y'all know I'm the dark skin activist. But I don't give a fuck about what these people have to say because it's not sincere. It's not real. If you ain't been talking about this before social media, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you and double, triple, triple. Fuck you. I don't care because the shit ain't real. It's for views. And you're a thief and you're not honest and you're a liar. Every fucking last one of you. Yes. I tell you this shit to your face. Dark skin activists will tell y'all this to y'all face. Y'all can't handle me. You just can't even handle me. First of all, I already know that shit. You know, and you know why you can't handle me? I'm going to tell you why you can't handle me. I'm going to tell you why you can't handle me because I tell the fucking truth. Motherfuckers is afraid of the fucking truth. Motherfuckers cannot take what is the truth. They cannot take the truth. They can't take it. They can't take it. They can't take it. Uh, this is Miss Monet, you gotta go. 
because you're disrespecting me. And before I go off on you, like before I really, really flip, you just, just leave, just, just fucking go. Cause I'm not going to tolerate it. You're going to fucking respect my fucking name and what I created, or you can leave and infinite shades. You can fucking go as well. Cause you're agreeing with the bullshit. If you are disagreeing with me, I'm not going to tolerate dissenters. I'm not going to fucking tolerate dissenters. No, I used to tolerate you bitches until you started backstabbing. Cause that's all y'all is y'all. I told y'all black people don't care about other black people. They will backstab you. They will backstab you. Backstabbers. What that song say? That, that's a song. I don't want to ever plagiarize nobody. They smiling in your face. The backstabbers. That's what they do. I can't think of the group that uh, wrote that song, but that's one of the realest motherfucking songs that I ever heard in my life. And I want to say shout out to the, the performers of that song because y'all backstabbers. Y'all are smiling a bitch face and be stealing and plotting. You can't never trust you motherfuckers. And I see that now. I brought dark skin activism for dark skin women to help for real. And all you've done is backstab me. That's it. That's all you've done. All you've done is came against me. I remember dark skin women coming to my play. Well, before any bitch ever talked about dark skin, coming to my play, disagreeing with me. The nice Rashida never said anything, but I'm letting you motherfuckers have it because you're backstabbers. You're no good. You're not even fucking worthy of me. Period. Period. Fucking backstabbers. You want to be backstabbed? Just be black. You want to be backstabbed? Be dark skin. Okay? That's all you got to do. Wake up black. Create something. And watch a bitch come behind you and try to steal and backstab you. That's what y'all do. That's what it is. I'm, I'm, I'm only here to tell the truth. I don't give a fuck about you, Tori Lanez. I don't care about you so-called calling out darkism or colorism. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about it because you're fake. You're a fraud, just like the rest of them. I'm just here to call you out and talk shit about you. That's it. That's it. To call out what is reflective of the behavior of what, how black people treat each other. This is what they do in the hood. They put a shit in the motherfucking hood. They put a shit in motherfucking Africa. They put a shit in motherfucking corporate America. You bitches is backstabbing. That's what you do. You come up in corporate America, you'll see another black woman and be fucking threatened by her. And what you do You'll backstab her. What you just do. Same thing with the dudes. I'm talking about all y'all. I'm calling all y'all out. You're fucking backstabbers. And I'm proud to say I ain't never been a backstabbing bitch. I tell you shit straight up to your face. You come at me with some fuck, I tell you. I'm not here to backstab and steal from you. I could proudly say that I don't exhibit that behavior. The, the behavior that I fucking despise and hate. I see other black people exhibit. So I don't do that shit to other black people. I done been around. I done worked in fucking corporate America. I done worked around motherfucking creatives. And to the black bitch, you know who you are. You you back. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to write a whole play about your bitch ass and how you backstab me. Because you're probably watching me. That's what you bitches do. You can't get enough. You say you don't fucking like me, but you bitches be all up on my motherfucking videos watching me. I don't give a fuck about you, except in terms of writing about my story and how you impacted. That's the only way I'll fucking even talk about your bum ass because you're fodder for my motherfucking plays, bitch. That's it. You're fodder for my motherfucking plays. Bitch, I could create a character off you and play the character because that's how talented the dark skin actress is. You bitches wish you could be me, but you could never be me. So to the black bitch that backstabbed me, I'm going to write a play about your bitch ass too. 
I'm gonna write a whole play dedicated to your bitch ass too. Cause I already know what y'all about. It took me some years to find this shit out, but you can't trust these bitches. There's only a few of them you can trust. It's only a few. It's only a few, a select motherfucking few. A select few that you can actually trust. Majority of them, they'll watch you. They'll sit back in the motherfucking cut like they did watching me online, watching every motherfucking thing that I've ever done around dark skin. They know they ain't gave a fuck about it, but they said, hmm, I'm going to watch this bitch and steal from her. That's what y'all do because you have no creativity. You have no originality. You always want what somebody else got. That's what this is all about. You can't go and get your own shit. Make sure y'all go make a donation and go purchase my books, the real supporters. You can't go and get your own shit. You can't go and do that. You can't go and create something from scratch. You rather go and want what somebody else got. A lot of you bitches want the man that your best friend got. A lot of you dudes want the female that your, your best friend got. Always wanting to take what somebody else got instead of going out there creating from scratch your own shit. But this is what the backstabbers do. Steal from the dark skin activists because they do this shit in everyday life. They'll come on a job and go rat to the boss because they might want your position. They might be mad that you're a supervisor. Upset that you're a supervisor. Upset that you're ascending the ladder. Get jealous of you. Go backstab. This is what you motherfuckers do. Don't be mad at me for calling you out. You could, hell, you could be mad. I don't give a fuck. I don't give, I could care less. I'm only here to tell the truth. I'm only fucking here to tell the truth. I'm only here to be honest. Something you motherfuckers don't know anything about. You don't know anything about honesty. In fact, Honesty is a bad taste in your mouth. You tell your, 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 your motherfucking asses to be honest and tell the truth. Shh. That's like speaking another fucking language. You don't understand honesty and integrity. 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 You understand that. So. Fuck you. That's what I have to say. I have no respect for any of you. Once again, those of you that believe in the real, true, honest, organic mission of the real dark skin activists, not these fake ass motherfuckers that's still in my work. Here is my GoFundMe. Go make a donation. You can also go to my PayPal. You can make donations there. You can purchase my book. Um, I have free books. A dark skin woman's revenge, darkism, and token dark girl. Now, once again, token dark girl is thirty dollars. Token dark girl is thirty dollars. Even if you go to my website, darkskinactivist.com, you guys will clearly see that token dark girl is thirty bucks. Um, my other books are twenty five dollars a piece. Now, I highly recommend, and this is my website, darkskinactivist.com, aka colorismactivist.com. If you go to my website, you can see that the book is $30. You can get the book off the website or like I said, you can um you get all my books off my website. You can get the other books by going to simply shop. But you can also if you go to my GoFundMe, if you give anything $25 or greater, I'll send you um a copy of one of my uh, books. It won't be Token Dark Girl cuz again, Token Dark Girl is $30. Um so go make a donation if you really believe in truth and justice. If you know that people have stole from me and you know that I'm right and you feel that in your heart, you know what the truth is, you know what it is, go make a donation. Go go, go support. Be a real supporter. I'd like to thank everybody for taking the time to listen to the world's first and only dark skin activist. Because Tori Linez is a damn show, ain't you? <laughs> Clout chaser. Joke. The world's first and only dark skin activist, Rashida Strober, the inventor, the creator, the architect, the designer of the first platform in history that everybody has stolen from me from, refused to acknowledge 
but it doesn't change the facts that Rashida Strober, myself, is the world's first dark skin activist, creator of darkism, dark skin activism, and coin corner of the word darkism, as well as the book darkism, and dark skin activism, which is the very first platform in human history to advocate for dark skin. Anybody else? You're just a fucking clone. On through here and um i'm gonna stop the screen sharing here i was reading some of these comments and i'm gonna go in here and purge some of y'all because y'all again y'all are not y'all are not um y'all are not y'all are in denial and i told y'all to just leave the lie disrespectful in denial liars will not be on this live with me. You're gonna your comments will be deleted. That's what I'm going to do. If I had a listen to the naysayers about dark skin activism, uh it would have never became known. So you know. I'm not listening to the naysayers. You don't mean anything to me at all. But your comments are definitely going to be deleted. And I'm just going to put you in timeout. All right. There we go. All right. Thank you guys for watching. World's first and only dark skin activist, Rashida Strober. Once again, make sure you go to my website. Um, make sure you go to my GoFundMe, my PayPal. Make your donations. Get your books. Uh, like this video. Subscribe share this video and also look out for my upcoming book called inventing dark skin activism the rashida strober story and for the real supporters out there i want you to know i ain't going nowhere i got so much shit, so many great things in the works right now i'm just not speaking about it but when i'm ready to release it believe me y'all gonna know so i want to say thank you very much for taking the time to watch the world's first and only dark skin activist the creator the inventor the architect the designer of the first platform in history for dark skin known as dark skin activism Y'all have a wonderful evening.